Mr. Minery, on page 8 of your written testimony, you write, quote, children living in their own married biological or adoptive mothers uh, with their own married biological and or adoptive mothers and fathers were generally healthier and happier, had better access to health care, less likely to suffer mild or severe emotional problems, did better in school, were protected from physical, emotional, and sexual abuse, and almost never live in poverty compared with children in any other family form. You cite a, um, uh, a Department of Health and Human Services study that I have uh, right here from December 2010 to support this conclusion. I checked the study out. And I would like to enter it into the record, if I may. And it actually doesn't say what you said it says. It says that nuclear families, not opposite sex married families, are associated with those positive outcomes. Isn't it true, Mr. Minery, that a married same-sex couple that has had or adopted kids would fall under the definition of a nuclear family in the study that you cite? I would think that the study, when it cites nuclear families, would mean a family headed by a husband and wife. It doesn't. Uh, the study defines a nuclear family as one or more children living with two parents who are married to one another and are each biological or adoptive parents to all the children in the family. And I frankly don't really know how we can trust the rest of your testimony if you are reading studies these ways. <laughs> 